Hello, if you are struggling with scalp psoriasis or really psoriasis anywhere on your body, but specifically scalp psoriasis is what we're talking about today with the itchiness, the flaking, like you're pulling your hair out, things are coming out in clumps. I have a simple solution for you. If we haven't met yet, I'm Dr. Allison debardo Gagan. I'm a functional medicine physician, a doTERRA wellness advocate, and also an autoimmune patient. So I developed scalp psoriasis about three years ago when I started immunosuppressants, which is kind of ironic because there's a lot of medications to treat psoriasis, but mine cause psoriasis. So the deal for me was had I was grateful because the medication saved my life for ulcerative colitis. However, the worst side effect was scalp psoriasis. I can live with it and I can manage it. So there's a couple differences I find as a functional medicine physician of when we're having side effects from the medication, sometimes they're a little bit harder to treat naturally with natural solutions like food, herbal support, homeopathic, things like that. Whereas if you have psoriasis uh, from a non pharmaceutical cause, meaning you just have it because it's not an immune issue, it's a liver issue, there's something else, maybe like a food intolerance, that can be much easier to treat. So if you're on the, I just have psoriasis and I don't know what to do side, and it's not because of the medication, definitely look into my other videos. I'll post those below about origins of psoriasis and how to support them. But you can still use this product support that I'm going to show you here in a second. If you're struggling because of, like me, because it's a prescription side effect, this will be a good band-aid for you. And I'll tell you that I worked with a lot of doctors on this and they gave me all the foams and creams and things and it just made my hair greasy and it helped, but only for a little bit. So it's kind of a hit or miss and I welcome solutions that can be honestly a band-aid, but help you get through the moment. And this cream that I'm gonna show you that I made is has been helpful. I've took about four uses over two weeks. So I use this twice a week, kind of like a hair mask or a scalp mask would probably be more appropriate. So what I do is I take a mason jar, so glass, um, and fill it up with a cup of coconut oil. So originally, as you can see, this is a little bit more solid. I used regular coconut oil to make it a little bit thicker, a little bit more pastier. However, it just didn't sit right on my scalp or it wouldn't melt or just be chunky. So this time I switched to using just regular fractionated coconut oil. So it always stays liquid. I can always apply it to my hair. So I put a full bottle of this into the mason jar. I do a cup of castor oil at that as well. And then I use the doTERRA's HD, probably can't see it because it's so bright in here, but doTERRA's HD clear and the writing is so light. But this is a facial lotion that's designed for acne. We have a whole entire HD clear line, like a foaming face wash and essential oil for, you know, small issues that you can put on. And then the facial lotion if your whole face is struggling. So I actually just squeeze this half the tube into it and then mix it up. And what I use is I, uh, super fun, I use a cooking brush that's just for this um, and I apply it to my hair. So I pull it through in sections and apply the oil and the paste and keep sectioning to make sure that I hit every major area um, of my scalp that's struggling with these issues. I leave it on for an hour, sometimes longer, maybe even up to four hours, depending on what I'm doing. I also put my hair up, so I'll put it either in a ponytail or use a claw clip and put a shower cap on over it. I know it's super sexy, right, to be walking around like this. I don't sleep with it on because it's a little, it's just too uncomfortable, but um, when my day is done, family dinner time, I could put all the stuff in my hair and then wash it out right before I go to sleep. So... The shower cap helps prevent the oil from dripping down my neck and getting onto my clothes because as you know, castor oil can stain. And I do feel like the longer that your skin has the time to absorb it because psoriasis builds up that skin plaque. And so we have to get through that plaque to the epidural layers to, I'm sorry, epidermis layers to penetrate the skin to get the inflammation down to support the immune system and help support the skin healing. 
Now, like I said, this is not a cure. I'm not sitting here going to say castor oil or HD clear is going to cure your psoriasis. However, it can reduce the inflammation, reduce the size and thickness of the patches, and can help overall support your skin health. You can apply it so if you have it anywhere else on your, your arms, neck, things like that. Um, I was using just the HD clear oil and spraying it in my hair and then leaving that on overnight. However, I found that adding in the castor oil plus the coconut oil was way more effective for hair growth, for the itching, the redness, the pain that comes along with all of those things. So I have a free castor oil guide that this protocol is in. It's down below in the link in the comments. So make sure that you sign up. It's free. Get the free ebook. has all of my protocols in it more information on how to use castor oil packs, how to pick out a good castor oil, and how to get a free consultation with me. All right, if you have any questions, thoughts, or any other ways that you use castor oil, coconut oil, maybe essential oils to manage your psoriasis, leave a comment, let me know, and let's talk about it. So I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.